，白宫新冠病毒协调员齐恩茨四月十三日表示，美国从辉瑞公司和莫德纳公司获得的疫苗足够在强生暂停使用疫苗期间继续接种疫苗。周二，美国联邦卫生机构建议暂停强生公司的新冠疫苗接种至少几天。此前有六名五十岁以下的女性在接种之后出现罕见的血液凝块，这使应对大流行的努力受挫。Good afternoon. As you all know, the FDA and CDC announced earlier today that out of abundance of caution, they've recommended a pause in the use of Johnson Johnson vaccine as they. Review data involving six reported U.S. cases of a rare and severe type of blood clot in individuals after receiving the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Let me start by saying that this、um, announcement will not have a significant impact on our vaccination program. The J and J vaccine makes up less than five percent. Of the more than 190 million recorded shots in arms in the United States to date, the president has always said that this is a wartime effort. We're at war against the virus,、um, and as such, we've mobilized a wartime effort so that we're prepared for a wide range of scenarios. So we have plenty of supply to continue our vaccination program and to hit our goals. We have enough supply of Moderna and Pfizer to hit the targets that we've set, the 200 million shots in 100 days, and to、uh, head toward the Fourth of July that we've talked about as a country, a more normal Fourth of July. 免疫学专家与美国官员一致强调，强生疫苗造成的风险似乎非常低，它仍然是抵御新冠病毒风险的宝贵工具。但是，他们承认卫生官员有必要谨慎行事，了解降低风险的最佳方法。FDA 在新闻发布会上表示，在强生疫苗的接种者中，有一人因为罕见的血液凝结状况而死亡，另外一人情况危急。FDA 官员彼得·马克思表示，强生的案例很明显与阿斯利康的案例非常相似。然而，官员们表示，在接种莫德纳和辉瑞疫苗的人中，还没有类似的血栓病例报告。这两种疫苗至今为止占美国疫苗接种的大多数。由于生产问题限制了强生公司的供应，大多数强生公司现有的疫苗都在美国使用。截至四月十二日，美国已经接种了六百八十多万剂强生疫苗，约为每百万人一例。美国疾病控制和预防中心 （CDC） 的一个顾问委员会将于周三开会审查这些病例。FDA 将审查分析。所有六例病例涉及年龄在十八岁至四十八岁之间的妇女，症状在接种疫苗后六到十三天出现。